drop top porch. Boy, you on my wrist. Got diamonds up and down my chain. Cardi B straight, son, it can't tell me nothing. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be doing a different kind of video. And it's a cooking video, kind of. Um, I'm going to be doing French toast with a little twist. And you guys will see the little twist as you keep watching. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you do, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed as yet, hit the subscribe button down below, wherever it is. And make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. I'm going to show you the ingredients you'll need for this video now. Sorry, for this recipe thingy now. And then I'll start to mix them and you'll get cooking. So of course we're going to need a bowl to mix everything in and for this we're going to need, well I used two eggs, some milk, some vanilla essence and I usually use cinnamon as well but we only have nutmeg right now so some nutmeg. We're also going to need some bread but we don't have no bread so we'll be using salt bread. And I'll show you guys how we use that. And you're also going to need a knife to cut the bread, a spatula to turn, of course, a frying pan, a plate to put it on, and a fork to, to flip it in the mixture. And you're also going to need some oil to put in the pan. Okay, so I'm going to start by putting in the mixtures and honestly I just go by average I don't use measuring anything so that's what I'm going to do I'm just going to put in some milk and about this much then I'm going to put in my eggs And we're going to put in half a cup of, half of the cover of this vanilla essence. The essence is to sweeten up your French toast and cut the scent of the egg. Now I'm going to add in the nutmeg, and if you guys have cinnamon at home, you can add in some cinnamon, some cinnamon as well. Okay, so the nutmeg does not want to come out, so I'm going to go a little harder. And if you guys hear any wind in the background, that's just the beautiful birds chirping and the wind blowing and all of that loveliness on a very good Sunday morning. And then we're going to whip it. Whew, some arm strength there. And this honestly smells so lovely. I'm going to add in just a bit more in that night. And now that that mixture is finished, I'm going to slice the bread. And I'm just going to slice the bread as if it were loaf. So I'm going to try to make it flat. And guys, don't judge me, but this is what we have. So I'm going to do it flat like this to make it loafy. Mm -hmm. 
And I'm just going to start with one salt bed for now, and if you need any more, I'll continue. Wait. Now I'm going to turn on the stove and let the pan heat up. Okay, so I'm about to add the oil because I think the pan is hot enough. And I'm just going to add it by eye. So, about that much. Just enough to cover the bottom of the pan by a little bit. And we're going to let that heat up a little. And it smells like it's burning already. Then I'm just going to put the bread in the mixture. Like so. And just let it soak it up. Soak it up. Soak it up. And then it's going to look like it's floating, a boat floating in the ocean. So you just want to make sure all of the bread is covered and soaked and soggy and then we're going to put it in the pan and we're going to hear the sizzle and I'm going to let you guys see it in here This is the beginning of the process in the pan and it also took out another plate with a paper towel to soak up the excess oil because we don't need those all of that grease inside of our system so we're going to take out the oil and have a paper towel here for when we're finished and this is the bread that has to be soaked so that it looks unlike this. And I'm just going to do a little dance until this bread is ready to turn. Roll the music, Ty. And this is it after it's been turned all golden and lovely and bronze and glazed and perfect. Y'all see that thickness? That's a sign of love in my tummy when it's finished. Here we can see Tyra preparing broccoli for Sunday lunch. But that has nothing to do with this video so I'm going to take you guys back to the frying pan. And now I'm going to test the waters and see if it's time for this lovely bean. Oh my goodness, I did not have the camera on it. But guys, look at that. Look at this mass on, if you could only smell it. Well, and it's soft and tender. Ah. If anybody needs a breakfast chef, just comment down below and let me know. And we're going to take it out and put it to bed. And let all of that oil soak up and then we're going to cover it down so that the heat stays in it and we are going to repeat the process with these other victims so now i'm on to the last one and i'm going to put that with its sibling right here i'm going to show you guys now in the next clip Finishing touch onto this loveliness.
Okay, so here's the little tasters. Mm. Y'all, yeah. I have not made French toast in forever and I really ordered myself like this. Is, this is so good. Here guys, have some. Come on, take a bite. No? Okay. More for me.